Does that experience of life and it might change to something kind of humorous? It doesn't matter. It's an exploration for you. You're living in a different reality. <coughs> so the relaxation allows uh, impulses to manifest themselves and it also allows you to get a deeper emotional reconnection because scientifically the body are all these fibers and muscles and the brain has a connection to the body. It's almost like a self-hypnosis type of thing. It's like you're hypnotizing yourself to get into the part, to relax the body, to stop thinking about how you look. And especially with teens, they're always judged, do I look all right? Am I skinny enough? Am I attractive enough? Am I cool enough? Am I hip enough? Be, be yourself and be who you are and allow that to live and manifest itself as it's going to live and manifest itself. Then one day they brought home purity ice cream, vanilla bean ice cream. Mmm, that was the best one yeah. <laughs> I mean, next came like purity home vanilla, French vanilla, and then light vanilla, vanilla yogurt, and I never knew there was so many vanillas. I was just living the dream, man. Then one day, they brought home this purity vanilla bean ice cream. Mmm, mmm. The world's best vanilla. Next time, next day came purity homemade vanilla. Then French vanilla. Then a light vanilla and vanilla yogurt. I never knew there were so many vanillas out there. I'm just living the dream, man. I am one lucky spoon. All right, this is 90210 audition tape roll of Teen Girl. Slate your name, please. Destiny Duarte. Rolling. And action. Help! Help! Somebody! She's drowning! What, what, what's going on? You, you were drowning. He, he saved your life. Action. Help! Help! Somebody help! Please! She's drowning! Help! What happened? You, you were drowning. And he saved you. kids that were singing is to because especially with teen actors they start to control how they're doing and they get and when they get emotional they stop and they turn off because it feels uncomfortable we're not used to like crying and screaming in everyday life unless it's an emergency and even then we stifle it and we continue so for actors they have to access it and one way uh, there's an exercise where I have them sing or say their monologue or make loud sounds and the reason that's happening in those exercises is it's to stop you from being conscious of what you're doing every single time it's to free yourself up well, the, the teen sensory work is specifically the students are working on a scene and we're figuring out and I'm trying to teach them how to use various techniques to make the scene come alive for them to get their own behavior their own mannerisms because the script you're, you're acting someone you don't know it's a foreign person, it's a foreign story, it's a situation that doesn't normally happen, it's usually a huge event, and how do you make that real? And so you choose different sensorial realities that you can use to recreate that in the scene. So a teenager, if the character's sad, he might work out a place of sadness. If the character's getting ready to meet a girl, he might be combing his hair and looking at himself in the mirror, practicing what he's going to say. It's to get behavior into the work. See the place, especially over here. Go right to the camera. Let yourself, and then go above it and around it, but not into it. And let yourself deal with the physical place of where you're working on and relax your jaw slightly. Any line from the play? You don't have the responsibilities that I do. Action, monologue. Full voice, go. What can I tell you about that? Louder. Don't act it. Yell. Yell. Go. Scream it. Go. If I had a hundred customers like her, 
be the most <laughs> perfect bar I've ever been in. Nothing to do with sexual orientation. Complete Stand up straight up. Mannerisms. Manners. Politeness. Intelligence. Because the guy kind of just kicked it. He didn't care about anything. Slam your feet. You already used it, aren't you? Go again. Five more times. You're cutting it off. You're stopping. Don't stop. Go. You already used it, aren't you? You already used it, aren't you? One more. You're almost there, baby. You almost won your Oscar. You already used it, aren't you? Would that be part of it too? Action. Naive? I'm not naive. You don't treat me like a hopeless, depressed outcast. You're beautiful, lovely, smart, witty, funny, amazing. But a girl needs to get along with social change. I learned that from my sister Alva. She had a wonderful popularity among the railroad men. <laughs> beautiful. When he drinks, he kind of loses it. Do the same thing, but see who you're talking to out here. Where the camera near the camera is the camera on top. Say it out here. Come here. He isn't always like that. But when he drinks, he kind of loses it. Look up. I dreamt I was a baby again. You know, one of those baby things. Start again. Just the mid sound. Rolling. Action. I dreamt I was a baby again. You know, and one of those baby things. <laughs> Funny thing is, it was stuck. Mom couldn't get it off. She was freaking out, but. I was just happy shaking my rattle. And was he there? This friend of yours? Put it up a little bit higher, see the substitution that you're using. And say the line again, but look above the camera, above the head, where his her head is. And was he there? This friend of yours? It was weird. It's hard to have a conversation. I don't know what's wrong with your name anyway. Why do you even want to change it? When you love someone, you take action when they're in trouble. You go to an authority. I'm not sorry. It sucks that Dylan has problems, but I'm not sorry I pointed out the obvious. Mom and Dad needed to know. It's, it's funny that way, how feelings change about the war. And when I'm angry, when I'm tearing out my hair and bursting with rage, I can feel everything that hurts, everything that stabs, gnaws at me, and I can feel it pouring out of me, and I know that someone is listening to me because you can't ignore anger. It grips you, holds you like fire in your lungs, and I'd so much rather live with fire, with sparkling, crackling anger, than with nothing at all. <laughs>